So thank you for joining me. This is exciting. You feel a little bit nervous? Yeah. Performance anxiety. <laughs> That's normal. It's different when you sit on the side of the class, right? <laughs> um, got it. So we're going to be doing food addiction. So I really look forward to this one. I mean, it's quite a common thing that we all have. You know, we. I'm sure most of us in this class have experienced that as well, right? So it's very, very common. And yeah, let's see if we can if we can nail this for you today. So, what is your addiction? What is your your weakness? Chocolate. Chocolate. Perfect. Lint, Cadbury, stuff. Um, anything. <laughs> Any? <laughs> oh, you're you're the one. That, you're not the fussy addict. You're like. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Even right. like um like anything related, like chocolate cake or ice Got cream. Got it. Or. So here's my question. So it has to be like chocolate flavor. That that's where the um, the hook is as well, or mostly. Okay. But it, it can be sugar, okay. or like any other kind of sugar. But sweetness, yeah. But chocolate's like the ideal. That's that's <laughs> that's the main goal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Got it. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is. Have you noticed a pattern of when you crave the chocolate, how do you feel when you crave it? Um, anxious. Got The reason why I ask, because chocolate, of course, is sugar as well. You know, there's sugar in that. And the moment she said anxiety, I'm just throwing this out there for you because I found this a lot in addictions to with sugar, with sweet stuff. Is that in the when you were in the womb, your mom had candida, most likely had candida, and the predisposition of candida was already strong in your gut. Now what happens is if you have that candida, the predispositions of that already in your gut, your mom's anxiety gets programmed, gets held in that predispositions for candida. So. As you mature, when that candida starts to mature, the anxiety that your mom felt in the womb while she was pregnant with you explodes as well. And candida, of course, loves sugar. It keeps telling you, I want sugar, we need more sugar, because if you don't have it, I'm not going to stay alive. But now it's also associated with the, with the anxiety that's being triggered. So that's how the candida tricks you into thinking you need anxiety. You need anxiety. You need, you need sugar so that we can calm down the anxiety. So it's like a, it's like a rabbit in the stick scenario, right? Because it needs the sugar to stay alive. When it's not getting enough sugar, it's going to create anxiety. But it triggers mom's anxiety as well. But now she also has her own life. She's going to feel her own separate anxiety as well. But now it's going to ride off of the anxiety that's stemming from the candida in her gut that could be from her mom. Now, this is a hypothetical. I've seen this many times with clients. It's just a hypothetical. Just curious. Sorry, that was a lot. Don't worry, you're the client. You can just receive. Forget about what I said. Don't even worry about it. Um, my question, though, is do you remember if mom had a stressful time when she was perhaps pregnant with you? Or do you know that she had anxiety? Struggling with anxiety? Yes. I think it was a very stressful time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, we don't have to say what it is, but it would, it would, it's, it's plausible that she had struggles with stress and anxiety that was quite very heightened yeah. during that time. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Do, you, do you remember if mom had any gut issues when she was, or still, still has maybe, but especially maybe during the time when you were younger? Mm -hmm. or Issues, so don't yeah, like know. did she also have addictions? Like did she have uh, a she sweet tooth? An eating disorder. Okay, but um, it it was like binge eating and then like super binge exercising oh, okay. to compensate. So Got it. Was, Got it. But like healthy eating. Yes. So she was just like a lot of okay. healthy food. So okay. Yeah. So mom didn't necessarily have any sugar in her diet. Not really. I'm not sure. Not to the sense where you would say it was an addiction. No. Okay. That's yeah. what I want to say. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Just hearing what she's saying as well, you know, binge eating on food, that's also 
related to a, sense, a feeling of disconnection, a feeling of isolation, feeling of also translating to emotional, psychological emptiness, feeling disconnected, and wanting to fill that void, right? That's one. But that also tells me that there's a sense of um, lack of, of boundaries. And eating too much food, needing to feel like there's a physical boundary. I'm just curious, was Ma, do you know if mom was a natural birth or a cesarean? I oh, know, sorry, I'm just curious. Natural, I think. Okay, but you, natural. And you were natural as well? Because normally what happens if most people who don't have a natural birth, because when you go to the birth canal, that already gives you, you know, that's your introduction to physical boundaries. And if you don't have that stimulation, if you don't go through that birth canal, there's, there's, a, there's a blurred line in terms of boundaries, physical and emotional boundaries. I mean physical, but it ends up translating as well as psychological boundaries. Got it. I just was thinking, wondering if that could have overlapped into the, the food disorder that she had because of that physical boundaries, needing that expansion, needing to feel where I stop and start. Got it. But that could also be as a result of abuse, where you were not able to exercise boundaries. So there's an inability to understand or consciously realize where does my boundary stop and start, when to say yes or no, where's my limitations. Got it. Okay. That was a mouthful. <laughs> All right, so getting back to anxious. Got it. And apart from the anxiety, when you were really craving that chocolate, is there any other emotion there with the anxiety that you are aware of? Um, loneliness. Lonely. Got it. This is good. Good stuff. Okay. Anything else that comes to mind that you are aware of in your body? Emotion. And how does your physical body react when you feel that anxiety and that loneliness? Freeze. Freeze. Take your time. I don't want you to feel rushed. You can take your time. So before you panic, how did your physical body react? Yeah, freeze. Freeze. Yeah. Got it. Perfect. And when you become aware of that anxiety and that loneliness, where inside of your body do you feel that? Where's the home for it? Got perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's interesting because I was so drawn to mom. I felt very drawn to mom. And now that she also said stomach with the loneliness, stomach is always for me something related to mom. Every single time. Every single time. Whether it's her relationship with her mom or whether it's a pattern that she has of her mom. Got it. So with the heart and the stomach where you feel that, is there anywhere when you feel these, this anxiety or this loneliness that you feel it outside of the body? Stomach area, got it. Stomach, got it. I agree with you on that. I also got mom. And the one that I got of mom was an incredibly strong feeling of, I hate myself. But, but because of the way that she was treated, it's not really how she feels about herself, but it's the way that she was made to feel about herself because of the treatment of other peoples towards her. It's almost like her dynamic with others 
became her internal dynamic. And that's what I'm feeling there really strong. It's like, yeah, wow, got it. And if dad, dad that's there, if he had like an emotion or a voice or something, then what would he say? How does dad feel there? Maybe something happened to him and he's trying to avoid like blocking out, resisting, perhaps seeing something that maybe happened in his life. Yeah. Is it something like that? Yeah. Does it feel like that? Yeah. It's like denial. It's like a feeling of denial. Yeah. That yeah, yeah that, that just came through so got it. Okay. Okay. So now we have dad and then mom. Got it. And it's, this is my cryptic notes. I'm no, I know you're loving this right now. <laughs> I'm deciphering it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Mm -hmm. So, with this anxiety and loneliness, when you feel that, when you are aware of that, what do you emotionally need? What does that positive mean? This feels good. This feels good. So now we're going to start the first step of the addictions healing. There's two steps. The MIT emotional process healing is one, and then we'll do the second step after that. Just curious. So when you when you have that desire for the chocolate, like when you when you're craving it, is there like a home in your body that's like saying, "I want it. I need it. I want it." Yeah, like is there is is there does that desire for it? Does it have like a specific place in your body? Yeah, the heart. Yeah, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have the heart there. Perfect. Got it. So we'd like you to take a nice deep breath with me. You did great. Thank you for that. <sighs> So I invite you now to feel, see, sense, or hear yourself like you're a caterpillar and you're in this beautiful cocoon in, a, in, a, in, a, in a color of your choice. And I invite you just to continue to have an awareness of the anxiety and the loneliness. Let's just have an awareness of that. Be okay with it being there. I'm just really gently going to connect with you. I'm going to go quiet for two to three minutes and I'll ask you to come back to me. Alright. And when you're ready, you can gently come back to me. How are you? <coughs> what inspired that heart? What's the, every tattoo has a story. Which is just for fun. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe one of it. <laughs> oh, that's, for, that's a good enough reason. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. So, how are you? How was your process? What did that feel like? Um, yeah. Good. I'm curious to know if you sensed anything or. Um, I definitely was like felt almost like resistant to the like inside of leaving yeah. and really like wanted to hold on to that um, but it did kind of slip away I know, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> anxiety can become as a part of your identity that's why it's like it's a part of me like not wanting to let that go it's something that you can identify that's within you yeah, it felt almost like it was like a secondary game kind of thing because it gives me an excuse to Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it did just sort 
just the way. It's just very calming. Beautiful. So, how do you feel now about that old problem? I'd like you to think back to that. No. <laughs> no. Look at the notes. <laughs> How do you know that you don't know? This is a joke. How do you feel though? How do you emotionally feel? Yeah, okay. How do you know that you feel okay though? Like, I'm trying to get like your state. Acknowledge that you feel okay, but how else can you tell me? I feel calm. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel now when you when you think about the, the chocolate? Um, I don't need it right now. You don't need it. You don't have like a desire for it. Not right now. Whereas before you had a desire <laughs> for it. <laughs> Not right now. Let's just Not be right clear. <laughs> but the, but when you came to sit here, you did have a desire for it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's the perfect answer. I don't have the desire right now. That's perfect. Now, step two. And this is not in the manual, so it's super easy though, and it's gonna, it's fun because you, as a practitioner, can jump in there and do it with them. So I would like you. Let's close our eyes. I'm gonna do this with you. And as I take you through the steps, I'll explain to you as well. Now what I would like you to do again, let's just observe, you know, the sweets, the cake, the chocolate. And just see how you feel now as you see it there. Is there any part in your body that has a desire for it? know or you don't know. That's okay. Maybe just become you know, just become silent within yourself. But don't feel rushed. Don't feel rushed at all. This is you observe the cake there like this if there's something in the body that maybe flares up that, that wants to reach out to it that, that's trying to pull it in. Or that desires it. No? Are you ready to integrate? Well done. How do you feel? Good. 